bow break, let it come down, crash. Let the sun fade out to a dark sky. Can't say I'd even notice it was absent. Cause I could live by the light in your eyes. Unfold before you what I've strung together. The very first words of a I think five years back, five to six years back, I don't remember the exact year. We met in February 2011 at a get together of all boys and girls in Yakatura School for all the different universities in Uganda. And I recall she was the she was the co MC. I was in the incoming vice chairperson of the association, so I was much on the dim light and he was about to notice me. I think all I got was her contact, which I didn't get from her. I remember there was a registration list that was going through, and I had to ask a colleague of mine <laughs> what her name was. So when the registration list reached on me, I had to look for her name and her contact. So that's where I picked her contact from. That's when he got my contact. He had much history about me, did the research, and I didn't know about him, much as were all bits and orchids. So after the, the party, it took like one week, I received a call from Alex. He described himself, but I wasn't remembering him, truth be told. Uh, she, there was a lot she really wanted to know. She's, she's a very detailed person. She wanted to know why I got her contacts. Uh, who I am, what I do, where I stay. I was so curious to find out who this person was because I couldn't call him a stranger, the fact that he's my OB, but I needed to know whom I'm talking to. Uh, I had to explain a lot, but all in all, she later agreed that we would meet at uh, Antonio's and yeah, we did meet. Hey, you're my favorite kind of night. And uh, here I find the American hide guy. <laughs> so finding him, I quoted with what he was telling me. Different lads, weighing a lot. I remember I'd come to do shopping for my sister, Hope. And I remember I met her with my, with my cavera. I had to put it under the table, bro. <laughs> to me, like he wanted to be my friend, and um, it was a positive, definitely friendship is all welcome. But uh, that's when he told me his interest, about his feelings, and to my response, it was a, a no, definitely. I didn't see it coming this way. I was not really sure whether she was going to come. My focus was much on different aspects. I was talk of looking at him, he's very tall and I'm very short. That was my biggest worry at the beginning. I looked at myself as too short and he's way, way too tall. But he gave me an encouragement that his grandparents was incompatible as we are. And that gave me a, a push. However, that I said, that was just a joke. We moved on. I did my simple research about him. He had a lot about me. And as love can't be known where it flies from and why it is heading to, we found ourselves into that love. And here we are. Yeah, you earned it. My proposal, I, uh, I can't say it's the traditional way or it is the modern way but it was in a special way that I least expected it. He assured me from the start he had wanted me for a wife. He, he saw a wife in me. But, I mean, I'm human. Doubts were there. 
I would only believe after seeing the practical part of it. So we moved on till the four years passed. Actually, I would say five years because it was last year. Easter time, they invited me to their home in Kijura. So it was then that we had different interactions. Different people welcoming me, the family. And here Alex, time reaches. He proposes. He tells me by December last year, he would come home to ask for my hand in marriage. And that was a shocking bit. I mean, I least expected it to be proposed before his parents, and that's how it came about. It was a feeling that I had in me that I had now made a, I had wanted to make a step ahead from the usual life we had lived, and I wanted to make this official, so... That's a special moment I can always recall and appreciate. It was a very huge step for me, and... Um, I think that's what brought the excitement and nervousness and all that. Our proposal was as simple and unique like that. I must admit I'm a very great chef and um, Alex loves my food. And uh, when it comes to the kitchen part of it, I think your ball is on point and uh, it's his best moment. We like that moment. So it gives me pride think that uh, my man enjoys my food. At least it will take us time to discuss and talk about how my food was so delicious, which I find it so interesting. And then um, Alex loves games. He loves basketball. So the times we watch basketball together, or even on TV or at YMCA. And then the planning part of it, at least we <laughs> We, I don't know, maybe we are soon being the next series of the country. All the time we want this, we want the other, and uh, we really do a lot of talking. I think where we have come from and where we are, it's basically about how we talk and how we work together to achieve these things. We love um, that bit of getting business ideas all together, and sitting down round table to see how best we can have the best future for ourselves and our children to come, and then our family. Yeah. I like the way we get along, so I just have a strong feeling about her, and I think she definitely has to be the one, not any other. Like asking me how water tastes. I don't think I would have a great answer for that, but uh, that pushes me to it's true love that is between me and Alex. That's what I can testify about. It's no doubt. Alex loves me and I love him. Because I can't say I looked at the heart and everything, that came in the long run. But on the first side, he is handsome. And um, one, the time we started dating, I started seeing the character in him. He's hardworking, he's intelligent, and um, very responsible and then I took him so serious the fact that he told me from the start that he wants me for marriage woman he would see me as a mother to his children and I'm seeing it happen it gives me it gives Alex a character of uh, a man of his word we call each other love me and Sylvia it's all about love and I think that's why we are together so I just call her love and she calls me love as well. If we ever called me Sylvia, then I know something is wrong. Vests. She buys me extraordinary vests. I think I really put on nice vests, by the way. The only thing is that, you know, vests are not for everyone to be seen, but I feel so comfortable in them. First of all, they are pure white, pure cotton, and uh, they have a unique label. So, yeah, I think it's the most exciting gift I like from her. And uh, I'm sure I'll get more vests now that she knows I like them. <laughs> wow, the mini gifts definitely I've got it from Alex. The, the big, I can't say the biggest because I attach a lot of importance to everything he gives me. But I think um, asking for my hand in, in marriage is what I consider to be the biggest gift 
have received from him and then accepting to be a father to my child being i mean being a responsible father that's the second gift i appreciate so basically those are my biggest gifts my love Sylvia. i think all i can promise is i have loved you before but uh, I promise to love you more and more and more. And uh, I hope to grow with you. I hope to have more children with you. I hope to have a firm family with you. And uh, I hope to keep loving you, that's for sure. That's what I can promise you. And um, I hope to keep holding you in high respect. And, uh, Keep talking to you like we always do. Keep planning with you. But above all, I promise to have you as my only wife and only woman. And uh, I just pray that God can bless us so that what we plan and what we talk about can come to reality. Uh, I know you're a very strong woman and I hope to use your strongness and your abilities to to make you a, a wonderful wife to me. Okay, Quizara love, we have loved you since 2011, this is 2017, we've now walked down the aisle. I've loved you and will always love you. Today, I love you more than yesterday and tomorrow I'll love you more than today. You've seen the woman I've walked these years with. But what I can promise you is um, I'll be a better woman. I can't say I've been perfect. I have my weak points and my strong points. But one week, I'll give it my best to be a great woman. Your family has been great to me. And what I can promise you is that your people will be my people. And I will love them as my own. Just like... I'm leaving home. I know I'm very safe going in your arms you as a family. Like I will always love you. And I'll be a great mother to so baby Alba. Nobody, nobody you, you, you. Never confused. But hey, I'm so used to being you. So I love when you call. Expected. 